All right, we're at the 2022 BCS Classic. This is event two. Uh, it's been a beautiful travel day. What you're looking at is a little flip of what the airplane looked like. There's a little bit more space and one person has been exchanged for the middle seat. But uh, just a big shout out to Jen who hooked us up with the middle seat. She knows we all needed a little bit of team building to get a little bit closer. And um, here we are on the way to BCS. Charlie's got us picked up this year. What happened? Why did Dad get fired last year? Yeah, last well, year I don't know. Uh, on no, I, actually, I don't even think he knows you guys are here today. <laughs> Um, the plan right now is food. You can tell that old Rick, Rick is kind of grumpy. He needs food. What's your weight at right now? I don't even know. I haven't looked. I haven't stepped on the scale since the week before the well during the games. What'd you weigh at? One eighty nine. Mm. Missed it by that much. September 9th, we have limited availability. We're gonna work out a little bit. We're gonna go to CrossFit Aroma and do some Q&A, working out. Uh, I'd love for you guys to come out. Have you ever taken more than one take? Yeah, if there's like a legit script I have to hit, then I have, yeah. If I don't have to and I'm in charge of it, no. <laughs> Is that my goodie bag? It's, it's like knee sleeves that are borrowed. Um, a couple different pairs of grips, thumb tape. What's your gym bag? Yeah, yeah, it's my gym bag. It's my, yeah. You know, I was like, I'm not gonna bring another backpack. I'm not gonna bring two bags on the plane for a day trip. So, I got this because I knew that Scott's borrowed knee sleeves would stink real bad. They don't yeah, smell so good. It's odor protection. Morgan, you tell me what we're doing. I'm just here to work out. You tell me what you want to do and I'll do the opposite. How about that? Man. Everything stinks. <laughs> That's the worst thing about those. It's like you never wash them. They set your bag wet. When was the last time you washed this? Never. Mm -hmm. They need to be washed. My knee sleeves need to be washed. I need to be washed. Did you bring anything? Yeah, I got the regular, the you Mayhem Nation backpack. tape. He's got nothing. <laughs> yeah. with him. AJ, I like that other tape. AJ brought a Ziploc bag. If I slow down, just tell me to go faster, all right? How are you gonna break it up? Don't know. Definitely don't. I wouldn't do touch and goes on, on your first set. I wouldn't do any touch and go. On your muscle ups, don't go to failure. And then if you want to on that second half, you could try to push the, the barbell on the second half, but I wouldn't on the first half. Just my opinion from doing these workouts like six times to test them. <laughs> I've been doing this 13 years now, and I still get nervous, so you'll be fine. So. Last year I was watching y'all compete. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I, I love the BCS. I mean, it's our big event. I'm like, I'm gonna help Charlie raise a bunch of money next year. And he's like, if I'm gonna raise all the money, I'm gonna, you know. So I, I, I called my buddy Trent Valentino, you know, Trent, to do a baseline, because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do RX. It's like, maybe if I go for a year, yeah. be all right. The first thing we did was a heavy squat clean and jerk. And I got up to like what my max was. And I got to the top and I, I got a little air, uh, Lightheaded. Oh yeah. And I fell backwards. Oh nice. Okay. And bar landed on my wrist, broke my wrist. Oh, I was like, okay. I know. This was the I'm gonna baseline to work out with Rich Froning next year. And then uh, this Gone. was it. This was like okay. Now Morgan's gonna work out with Rich Froning. Oh. It's okay. I mean, fast singles and then 10 8 6 on the bar muscle up and then see what happens. You know. But I had barely touched the barbell. Oh, yep. Good start. Well, Scott. Any last word? Time, time to go hang out with the Utes, you know? I don't see a lot of gray hair in this lineup, if I'm being honest. Hey, are we in the class <laughs> division? Hey. Everyone. He just, said, he just gave us, like, a couple of, like, quick, like, yeah, and when he goes, you can mow the other barbell and blah, blah, blah. We have no idea what's happening. When AJ's gone, I'm going to go follow these guys. How old are you? Young. 
You know what I mean? It could be better. How old are you guys? 30. Nobody oh, can right. tell how old right. you are. He's a young guy. Young guy, how old are you? Take a guess. Young guy? 41. Dude, split the difference. No, oh, come on, man. Yeah, I turned 40 this year. Hey, that's awesome. You know, if I'm gonna break it into four sets, I like the set to get a little smaller instead okay. of going like four sets of six, okay. or like eight, seven, six, or whatever, eight, seven, six, five, something like that. Okay. That would be too many, but still, you know what I mean? <laughs> now we're just talking it out. We're gonna go off feel. Just put chalk everywhere when you're nervous. It helps. Look, once I got my hand hand on him. How did it go? I only worked out for two minutes. Like it went fine for me, but fuck like poor AJ's in the dirt. How many muscles? Well, how was it? Real good. Felt like a sack of crap right now. What I should have done is gone first, because then we could have gotten. Because it was like the teams that did well sent their guys first to get out of the way. But I still think. I don't know what, what our heat was. Huh? Did, no. did you pick the time cap? I did not pick the time cap. Very aggressive. Hey, way to start the weekend with oh, a nice geez. little rip, huh? Did you wear grips? Yeah. You think it's too early? Like, you think Nelson would still switch partners, maybe? I thought about Sorry, I, I didn't know you could hear me. I didn't know you could hear me. You just got to be fit, you know? And unfortunately, we're just not there. It's okay, though. I'm feeling a little bit worse for the wear, but not like this guy. <laughs> not like this guy. Look at him. I thought you were my teammate. Him. He is one pathetic loser. <laughs> Just kidding. Please don't say that about me tomorrow. I'm done. Um, in preparation for this trip, you know, it's a quick one, but still, you always got to bring the essentials. And uh, I upped my game. I even changed my scent. Uh, hashtag not an ad, I paid $7 for this stick of deodorant, but I changed it to MVP. And after event number one, I don't think it was appropriate. You know, but I am, Scott. I am. I am wearing a Whoop, and I'm glad you asked. Underneath this barbecue stain, um, I got Whoop apparel on. Check this baby out. Boop! It's been going the whole time. So we can check my stats. My phone's not caught up, but uh, yeah, actually, it's super comfy shorts. And, um, yeah, look at that! Put your whoop inside of it! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and here comes the whole thing. But it's technically event two, right? Well, you've already done one of them, so... Yeah, but they called that Friday Night Lights. So there's technically five events, but there's only event number one, two, three, and four. Plus last night. There's three events plus last night. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Have you heard of the Waffle House Challenge? So it's like a fantasy football punishment that if you get last in your fantasy football, they'll make you sit there for 24 hours, but every waffle you eat subtracts an hour off of your penance, right? And so we had the same idea, but we did, we added a 50 cal echo bike every time. You after, you, after you ate a waffle? Before, no, you started. Remember you started with a bike. Okay. You started with a bike and ate a waffle. Either way. <laughs> and so it quickly turned into a bad idea, and a couple of us took the out, I think what, like six hours in? I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not fun. AJ started on the bike. The bike is not like the craziest pace. Um, try to maximize the rest. Oh, that's us. It's uh, three, 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 four. One of those intervals of like three minutes on, one minute rest for three sets and then a four minute. Uh, one partner's echo biking, one partner's handstand walking, flip, and in the remaining time, max rope climb. You want to start on the bike or start with a handstand walk? Handstand walk. Okay.
coffee. Where's Chris? That's what I do. I know. We're gonna run it back. Run it back. Oh, from last year? That's funny. Yeah, trading or whatever. I did this last time, doing it again. My man. Thank you. Wow, Scott, thanks. I'm good, buddy, thank you. Yeah, no, I got Gatorade, it's cool. Um, man, we both fell apart in the third round, huh? We felt like there was a uh, oh, yeah, there taken was, away from us. Something happened, like, everybody's, the, the, cause you know the two announcers are going at the same time, and so one of them called three, two, one, stop, and I don't think we're going that slow. To not I was get on done the way, with the handstand walk? Yeah, not yeah. get done with the handstand walk. I was There's on the way no back, way. and so she stopped me, and then she started me again, and I was like, I'm the only one going. <laughs> like, there's, yeah, I feel like there was I'm either missing out on rest at this point or something's going wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we just stopped. So we got zero in the third round. Um, but then we got 46 in the last round, which is like, didn't see that coming, you know what I mean? So yeah, first place. Um, good job. Boom. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go 15 minute AMRAP, 36 squat cleans at 135, 16 synchro burpee box jump overs, 30 squat clean at 185, 16, 24 at 225, 16, max reps at 245. You know who loves an AMRAP? Not me. Not me. When we get that second bar, probably, it'll be twos back and forth. Okay. You can do singles on that, and then we can just go singles here or whatever we yeah. feel like doing there. Thank you. Hey girl, we need your autograph. Yeah. Good job. What's up guys? Thank you. Kyle, he's a huge Notre Dame fan. Oh, go it's, Irish, Kyle. It's the only thing you guys have in common. Only? Yeah, the only thing. Do you have any predictions for the record this year? Uh, I mean, he, he's my... predicting playoffs. He uh, always says playoffs. I would so. love, I'm a realistic Notre Dame fan. I would love to see playoffs, but I'm going to give uh, Freeman about two years before uh, that happens. Okay. Heck yeah. Good to meet you, man. What's your name? Kaysen. Good to meet you, Kaysen. Come on in. Sweaty. Sweaty. Yep. Tell us about kind of your participation and yep. having a partner and yep. over the years. And then um, I think the total tally is almost 100,000 in four years. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Texas, first of all, but um, you know, I joke, I feel like this is my second home. Uh, we, we come down here to Amarillo a couple times a year, um, but like I said, you got to love Texas. And so uh, just, yeah, everybody's heart for uh, helping, helping others. And, you know, us at, at Mayhem, um, one of our, our values is service. And so I feel like that's what we're supposed to do, and we appreciate you guys partnering with us and helping out this incredible organization and meeting Charlie and 
and his team over the years, it's, it's, it's second family. So we appreciate you guys and we appreciate all you guys out there coming back year after year and we'll see you next year, right? Uh, Mayhem Mission was founded a couple years ago and Brian Nelson, who's walking up here, uh, and Rich Froning had kind of come together and formed this organization. Um, we usually um, get to do the giving, so um, getting, getting is, is kind of unique and we uh, really appreciate it. So this is a CrossFit competition started in 2010. This is our 13th year to put it on. Uh, it's called the BCS Classic, and this is really geared around family, fitness, and faith. We've got 700 part 780 participants. Uh, it's a big turnout. It's a team competition. We've been able to raise $60,000 for charity this year. Half of that to Mayhem Mission. The other half of that to Ronald McDonald Charity. Yeah, I competed at sectionals in Austin uh, back when we had sectionals and regionals. And I came back and I thought, man, I want to put an event on. So we had a small event, 80 people. It was at a little community center. Um, you know, one one division, one male division, one female division, and now it's this. Biggest year, uh, more athletes, but more organized. We had a Friday night lights component. You know, just a really cool all around event. Well, if I look back in time and see this thing grow in the last four years, and I look ahead in four years, I think growth just means more money uh, to give to other, you know, charitable contributions that we can make, uh, to give more, more, uh, athletes that are able to come experience this event, maybe having you know uh, a little bit more of this space occupied. As you can tell, it's a pretty big place. So, but more than anything, uh, you know, we're just excited to uh, be able to bring people together and hopefully have them walk away with a unique experience. So I live I live in College Station, and uh, I've been doing CrossFit here since 2016. And I've been off and on involved with the, the BCS Classic since then. And so, you know, I've, I've competed, I've, I've judged one year, and I've been a sponsor for several years. Last year, I didn't do anything. And I was, I, I came to watch, I was sitting in the stands, and I just had this feeling like, man, I, I love this event. I think it's, you know, it's our, it's, you know, the CrossFit community, Brazos Valleys, it's their big event, and and I wasn't a part of it, and I didn't like, I didn't like that feeling. And uh, I, I told him afterwards, like, hey, Charlie, I. I, ha I have this feeling, I, sh I wasn't involved and I don't like that feeling and so I, I, I want to get involved next year and I want to help you raise a lot of money. I, I, I feel like that's, you know, I believe it, it takes big events to raise big money, right? And, and, and this is our big event, CrossFit uh, in the Brazos Valley, every year BCS Classic happens. Now Rich comes and the Mayhem, you know, people come and, um, and they shine a lot of, they shine, shine a light on, on the BCS Classic. It's like, I'm gonna raise a lot of money. And so I want to see it grow, I want to see it grow, and it's like this is how I can make a difference this year. So I can show that we can raise, I, can, I want to raise that benchmark on how much money we can raise. So I raised $25,000. How, that, do, that's how real, do you raise 25000 You make phone calls, I go out and talk to people, and, and I'm, I wasn't afraid to ask big. I think that's the big thing is that we so often we qualify what we think somebody might give, right? And so we, we ask for 100 when that person would have given 10000 right? And so. Uh, it's okay to ask, it's okay to receive a no, and people want to give, right? People, for all kinds of reasons. But if we don't ask, if you don't, if you don't call, pick up the phone, call, and, and ask, then you know, you're not gonna raise the money. And then did you pick Rich's partner then? I did, yeah. And so Morgan works out at SDA CrossFit at my gym, and she's 15, she's a, she's a very remarkable young, young lady, and uh, I, I knew it would mean a lot to her, and I knew she would do a great job, she's very fit, and um, so you see, you know, it's kind of thought that was my thought process. Who, thought it would be great if it was a lady, and then who, who would be the right person? I think Morgan was the perfect person to, to work out with Rich. So I need, I need AJ over here or somebody. How's your spike ball game? Uh, I'm playing about five years. If I can get it, go find AJ. Well, this might be the only thing you can win all day. So Scott, I mean Jesus, come on. <laughs> Down. But they have to pass to each other, right? If in doubles, right? You can't. Yeah, you can't hit it to yourself. Right. Scotty? You ready for about five? Yup. You should have seen the pickleball that we played the other day at the gym. Intense? My heart rate, I think it hit 190.
got a game. Yeah. Good right. job, good job. Where'd you guys end up finishing? Um, what was it? Was it top top five? Top top five. Top ten? Top it was seventeen. Seventeen. We got seventeenth place. It's close. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. There you go. Good job, guys. There you go. Awesome, guys. Yeah, I'm in first place. Just about to announce it. Barely. Barely. Dude, it's just cool. This is always, um, you know, events. To be honest, my favorite part is usually like the end when the air lets out of the room and the tensions are less high and everybody kind of relaxes and chills. Um, so it's cool. It's a good vibe. And and this place, like, even like in the corrals before the event, it was. It's just super friendly. Like people aren't going crazy. Like I don't think anybody's here to try and win the CrossFit Games. Like. It's a, it's a really cool and unique event in that way. So, um, yeah, man. Now everybody gets to kind of chill and have fun. And uh, and then we hopefully don't kill ourselves trying to get to the airport at 100 miles an hour. All right. Recovery was 55%. Strain was 15.1. Uh, it registered two activities. I didn't start any of them. Um, I do believe my highest strain was playing spike ball. Uh, but overall, like I said, 55% recovery. 15 strain and then six hours and 47 minutes of sleep the night before previous night. Was spike ball the hardest workout? Spike ball was a good workout. It was fun. Good time. I, dude, I put him in the cooler. There's some. Uh, Topo Chico's. He gives us the plastic. <laughs> non flavored Topo Chico's. And fill yeah. this thing, dude. It's I like know, a, it's like a thick thing barbell. It's like the 16.9. It's like Isn't a. It? Yeah. It's, it's the like, bigger one. It's an actual yeah, barbell. Where did the one come from? The cooler, man. I told y'all. I took the care of it. The secret cooler. <laughs> the secret cooler that nobody knows about except for Charlie. <laughs> <laughs>